what's happening around Iran is really because CNN and you know every major news organization is no longer it is no longer able to you know have people actually there and reporting every day where we're relying on eye reporters and what we're hearing from them in the field to really give us a sense of what's actually happening. And because that's, it's become such a powerful way to find out what's happening every day on the ground, we've actually taken the eye, eye report desk and integrated it with CNN's international news gathering in a way that we've never really done before. And I think that's the, probably just from an internal perspective, that's, that's the big shift. It's, it's not so much that I report has I report hasn't really changed the way we operate, but we've become. I report has become a really central piece of the way CNN is able to tell the story this time. This is an extraordinary news story, and it's also an extraordinary time of press censorship, as we all know. Um, is this? Do you see this whole Iran crisis as a important moment in so-called citizen journalism, or how mainstream media has evolved, or is there any sort of you know big picture here in your mind? I think it's absolutely an enormous moment in citizen journalism. It's it's one of the first times that we're actually seeing an entire story unfold through social media, through iReport, through YouTube, through Facebook, through means that we wouldn't have you know we wouldn't have been using five years ago because some of them didn't exist. Um, I, I, I think the I think the significant change here, the significant difference. Um, sorry, let me go back just a little bit. I, I, in some ways, one of the things that we talked about a little bit when this story sort of started to started to break and we started to you know hear about it and cover it in a very serious way, was that it reminded us a lot of protests for democracy in Myanmar. I, I guess a couple of years ago now, and the way that that story unfolded, the photos and the videos were you know you were starting to see them online and on iReport and other places and think how can we really verify this information what's you know what's what's actually happening and how can we tell the story and I, and I think one of the differences in Iran is that there's so much more material that we're actually able to kind of verify independently events and things that are happening by going to more than one eye reporter and you know more than one person on the ground and you know if you were a journalist in the field right you would ask you would you would corroborate details by getting a couple of sources, you know, to by having a couple of people tell you the same thing. And in this story, what's happened um, on Wednesday last week, it was really, you know, we were trying to figure out how how the protests were going and what they were, you know, what they were like. And the way we've confirmed that was by getting two separate eye reporters who uploaded two separate videos of what turned out to be silent protests. They were incredibly dramatic videos, just thousands of people marching and not saying anything, but the only way we really could confirm that that was actually happening was by going to two separate people and, and you know, looking at two separate angles of the exact same event and talking to different people who were at, in the same place at the same time and, and you know, corroborate those details and ultimately let us report the story. And I, I, think, I think that's the difference. It's actually just the, it's the absolute volume of material and the, and the ability to get in touch with people and, and find out what they're seeing.